Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to connect Ecobee to Alexa so that you can control your Ecobee device with Alexa voice commands. So we've got our Echo Show 5 here and the Ecobee thermostat is currently set to 65 degrees. So once you have them connected, you can control your device with commands like this. Alexa, set main floor to 78. The heat set to 78. And you can see that our Ecobee thermostat just made the change to 78 degrees and the heat turned on. So let's get started showing you how to connect Ecobee to Alexa. To connect Ecobee to Alexa, you're going to need to have your Ecobee thermostat set up and installed on the Ecobee app, as well as have the device connected to Wi-Fi. You're also going to need to download the Alexa app and set up your Alexa device on the Alexa app. Now that we've done both of those things, we open up the Alexa app and we're just in the home screen here. So what we're going to do is go over here to the lower right hand corner and we're going to click on devices. Now in the devices tab, we're just going to go up to the upper right hand corner and we're going to click the plus symbol up here. Once we click the plus symbol, we have a couple different options. We're going to click on add a device. Now it asks us what type of device we would like to set up and we're just going to scroll down because we are setting up a thermostat. So now we scroll down and select the thermostat icon. It asks us what brand of thermostat we have and Ecobee is right at the top here. So we just go ahead and select Ecobee and click on it. Now it says connect your Ecobee thermostat to Alexa. We've already downloaded the Ecobee app. We've already set up the thermostat and we are on the Alexa app. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. Now it asks us to link the Ecobee skill to Alexa. So all we're going to do here is click enable to use. Now you can scroll down here and it will show you some common sayings that you can use with your Ecobee thermostat and Alexa so that you can control it with voice commands. So I recommend you check those out while you're getting this set up. Now we go ahead and click enable to use. Here Ecobee asks for our authorization with Alexa. So you can just scroll down and see what you're authorizing and you just go ahead and click accept. Now our Ecobee device has been successfully linked. Let's go ahead and click close. Now it asks us to discover devices and it's important here that you click discover devices. If you click cancel, it will terminate the process and your devices will most likely not show up on the Alexa app. So let's go ahead and click discover devices. Now our Ecobee thermostat has been found and connected. And you probably saw when it popped up that this device has been named main floor. That means in order to use Alexa commands with our Ecobee thermostat, we're going to use the name of the thermostat to set the heating and cooling. So let's go ahead and click set up device. It says add your thermostat to a group or you could group devices as part of a room or floor. I'm just going to go ahead and skip this at this moment. Now it says main floor is set up and ready to use and we're going to go ahead and click done. Now let's go ahead and test an Alexa command with our Ecobee thermostat to make sure it's working. We've got our Echo Show 5 here and let's go ahead and test out an Alexa command. So you can see that the thermostat is currently set to 66 degrees and the heat is not on. So let's go ahead and test this out. Alexa, set main floor to 76. The heat set to 76. You can see now that the device has changed to 76 degrees and the heat has turned on. Now what's nice about Echo Show devices or any Alexa device with a screen is that you can also make changes directly on the device by just tapping on the screen. And then those changes will automatically happen on the Ecobee thermostat. So it is an added feature if you get an Alexa device with a screen. So we'll include a list of Alexa commands that you can use with your Ecobee thermostat. And thank you for watching this video. Please give us that thumbs up. And if you want to support us, please subscribe or click any of the links below. Thank you.